When you start Radian, you'll notice that there's already a data file loaded called diamonds. It has information about diamond prices and some of the characteristics of the diamonds. This can be useful if you just want to play around and get a feel for some of the different tools that are available. But suppose you want to create a perceptual map. This is probably not the right data set for that. So what I would suggest you do is go to the Data Manage tab, click the Examples radio button, and then do Load Examples. So for a perceptual map, the computer data set is pretty useful. It has attitudinal information about computers and computer resellers. You can then go to Maps Attributes, select some variables, and generate your perceptual map. Now, suppose you want to get your own data into Radiant. Um, the standard format for loading and saving data for R is R data, and that's a binary format. And so if you've selected R.RDA, which is a, a, the R data format, we can load in data sets like information about house prices. Okay. And here's our data. These files all have descriptions embedded in them, which you'll find quite useful to remember what the different variables are. Now what about an Excel data set? How do I get that into Radiant? Well, the easiest way is to just save your Excel data as a CSV file, and then load that into Radiant using the CSV button. All right? Just click the CSV radio button, choose house prices, and then hit open. All right? That will get you the data into Radiant. Another way, which you may find actually even more convenient, is to use copy and paste. So I have my Excel file open. I hit Control C or Command C on a Mac. Go to Clipboard in Radiant and hit Paste Data. And here's some data that I just got uh, out of Excel. Now, what if I want to save some of these data? Right, so, for example, um, some information on, on catalog sales. Okay. I, want to use that, I want to do something in Excel with that, so I can go to Save Data, Clipboard, copy the data, and then in Excel, just hit Paste. And here is the data that I was looking at in, in Radiant. I can, of course, save the data as a, a .rda file. Just navigate to where you want it saved. Or I can save it in a CSV format. Now, the final thing with loading and saving files is, uh, is this thing called state. So suppose that I've been working in Radiant for some time and, and I've got some different analyses done and I don't want to lose that information. What can I do? Well, a couple different things, but the main one you would probably want to use is to save the state. So click State and then Save. And that will save the data that you've been using on any analysis you've been doing, any, any reports that you might have created. All that will be saved to a file. Now if you want to restore a state, you would use Load Data select state and then browse to a state file. As you notice the data has changed. Catalog is no longer in memory. It's just diamonds. This is the diamonds data set that we looked at before. I did some analysis on this however. So if we go to the view tab you can see that I specified a filter so that we're only working with those diamonds that are priced over a thousand dollars. I also did some analysis to evaluate if the mean of the selected uh, diamonds was above $4,500. I also did some analysis to see if prices vary across different levels of cut, the cut of the diamond. And finally, I did a visualization of the different diamonds by, by cut uh, and for a scatter plot of price versus carats. And then if we go to report, we see that I also created a little report around this. If I hit update, I can see what that report looks like. Okay. So saving and loading state, very convenient. If you want to either show others what you did, uh, that they can reproduce and see what your analysis were, or if you want to revisit an exercise you did in the past or to complete an exercise that you haven't finished yet, all of that is, is where state is really very useful. Final thing you might want to do, suppose you've loaded a bunch of data sets through examples, load examples, 
and you want to remove some of them from memory, select them and hit remove data. 